I've been dreaming not in my head like I've seen Hi there! So today we have the newly launched Dezo Wireless Power Neckband. Now these are budget earphones priced at just 999 rupees. It doesn't end there. It comes with 88 millisecond super low latency mode and app support where you can control sound profiles, toggle gaming mode and so much more. I'll take you through a quick unboxing followed by a full review where we'll talk about the sound quality, the gaming experience, so you can decide if this neckband is worth your money or not. Alright, let's straight dive into the unboxing. Here is the retail packaging of the neckband. You can see the Dezo branding, Realme Tech Life written at the bottom. On the sides are some of its key features which we shall cover further in this video. And towards the back are some manufacturing details and the MRP of $24.99. So as we unbox it, right on the top, we see the neckband itself. There's a user manual which is fairly detailed, silicon ear tips of different sizes, and a USB-C charging cable. All right, so we've got these in our hand, and the first thing I'd like to say, it's very light. 27 grams to be precise. We see textured pattern on the side capsule section. Pretty cool looking. Now first thing we're gonna do is pair the neckband, but make sure these are charged. Just separate the earphones from each other. You'll see a pairing pop up on your Android phone. Click connect and there you go. You're done in a couple of seconds. Then download the Realme Link app. It's available for iOS as well as Android. And when you open the app, you can see the Dezo wireless power neckband is connected here as well. All right, let's talk about the band and its design. So the neckband section is made of silicon rubber material while the capsule section below is made of polycarbonate. As mentioned before, the web texture design truly stands out. It weighs just 27 grams and you can barely feel it. Also worth mentioning, it's very well balanced, so it doesn't roll over on one side. We get a budge design earphones and the build quality is pretty good. Then we get controls on the right capsule, power button, volume rockers and LED light. On the other side is a Type-C port to charge. I'm really surprised there's nothing covering this port. Then we also get IPX4 rating which means they're protected from mild splashes and sweat, so it can be worn at the gym or for a run without worrying about water damage. Coming to the battery life. So Dezo hasn't mentioned anything about battery capacity, but claims 18 hours of music playback on a single charge and 10 minutes of fast charge will provide two hours of music playback. That's amazing. Okay, coming to the drivers. So each earbud comes with 11.2 mm bass boost drivers and the neckband supports Bluetooth 5.2. So, huge drivers along with solid, stable, power-efficient Bluetooth 5.2. Now, when you have to use them, simply just separate the earbuds. The neckband is turned on and connects automatically. There you can see it on the app as well. Okay, so how does it sound? Well, the sound quality was pretty good. It provides fuller bass that just adds to the richness. We get clear, loud vocals and good highs. Now, even though that these lack ANC, the budge design will provide a really nice seal and would cancel out most of the passive sound. However, make sure you wear the right size of ear tips. Then the music can further be tuned from the app, bass boost, balanced, bright. I personally prefer the balanced mode. It sounded more balanced as it says. Then bass boost does the obvious, it increases bass and adds to the thump. Bright on the other hand lowers the bass and enhances the vocals and highs. Ideal if you're watching videos or listening to podcasts. Then for those who like to get maximum juice out of these, can enable the volume enhancer in the app. Frankly, for $9.99, the sound quality and the app control is very impressive. Now, coming to the calling test. So the first thing you need to know is that the mics on the neckband are actually on the earbuds itself. Because usually with neckband designs, we find them usually on the capsule area as they tend to be closer when we speak. However, the dual microphones did a very good job when it came to phone calls, especially indoors. Here's a demo. Hi there. So the audio you're hearing has been recorded from the microphones of this neckband. And this is how the audio will sound to the opposite person when you use this neckband for phone calls. Indoors, I believe it's quite clear. The caller never complained of any echo or disturbance. However, outdoors, the story was a little different. To me, the audio was really clear, but the caller said that there was just too much ambient sound and even disturbance such as wind. So I'd say if you use these outdoors, restrict it only for quick short calls. Alright, something that everyone's excited about, gaming. So it comes with 88 milliseconds, super low latency, and before we start to the gaming, you need to enable the gaming mode from the Realme Link app. Now we did play everyone's favorite Battleground India, and I must say I didn't feel any latency or lag at all. 
actually it felt just as good as a wired connection. The gunshots, the footsteps, the callouts, all were in sync and very clear. Also briefly use them to stream movies and the audio here too was spot on. So yes, I can easily recommend these earphones for gaming. Now, there are some app features that I would like to touch upon. You can see the exact battery remaining of the neckband. Then we saw the equalizer presets earlier as well. Bass boost, balanced and bright. Then below there's gaming mode. You can toggle it on and off. Further, there's auto answer where you simply separate the neckband to answer an incoming call, which can be very convenient at times. And finally, an option to customize the buttons. Single tap, double tap, triple tap, press and hold. You can set them as per your preference. Now, I believe having app control is a huge perk. You can control the volume using the volume rocker, while you can pause and play by pressing once, change track by pressing twice, enable gaming mode by triple tapping, and even enable voice assistant by pressing and holding the button. All right, final thoughts. Well, I'm stunned with what it is offering for the price. We get amazing impressive sound quality, we get IPX4 rating, we get app control, we get low latency with a dedicated gaming mode for just 999 rupees. I'd say it's a steal. No way can you get anything better at this price point. By the way, this is just an introductory price, so make sure you grab it on the sale date itself, which is tomorrow, 25th of February. I shall leave the links below in the description. Close your eyes and buy it. Easily recommend it. So I hope this video was helpful. If there are any questions, mention them down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.